VenaWave is a compact, battery-operated, peristaltic pump that generates a wave-like motion in the lower leg. This produces a volumetric displacement of blood and tissue fluids, which translates into an upward increase in venous flow. The VenaWave VW5 increases peak venous flow in the popliteal and common femoral veins, as measured by duplex ultrasound. The VenaWave is an FDA, CE, and Health Canada approved ISO compliant Class II medical device. The VenaWave enables an active lifestyle for the patient and improves their quality of life. The VenaWave VW5 indications of use are for the prevention of deep vein thrombosis and venous thromboembolism as well as prevention of primary thrombosis, to diminish post-operative pain and swelling, and for enhancing circulation. My clinical expertise is in the area of vascular medicine, which uh, is kind of a combination of any blood vessel and its content. So I would see patients with disorders of any blood vessel, so veins, arteries, lymphatics. And my training here in uh, McMaster was after medical school, I completed internal medicine, and then two years in thrombosis uh, with the clinical team here, which is world renowned. And then I went off to Boston and spent a year doing a clinical fellowship in vascular medicine. So we don't have that type of program here in Canada. Uh, so I went to the States for that and, and during that clinical year I was exposed to a lot of different types of patients, uh, again with venous, arterial and lymphatic disease. So I came back here in 2001 and set up a vascular medicine clinic, kind of modeled after the way I trained in the States. Uh, we certainly uh, have a large number of patients who suffer deep vein thrombosis and the downstream side effects of deep vein thrombosis after that has been treated is chronic leg swelling or post phlebitic syndrome. So those patients are often in need of therapy and the best we can offer them at this point uh, is to wear compression stockings to decrease the swelling. I think in individuals who have chronic leg swelling, the VenaWave can be very helpful and that could be uh, due secondary to a deep vein thrombosis where an individual is left with venous insufficiency. In that scenario, the vena wave can be very helpful to prevent end of, the, end of the day leg swelling or substantial leg swelling. So I see that as a key indication. And now also considering DVT prevention in patients who can't receive usual antithrombotic therapy, uh, the vena wave also could be of quite a, a great use. So those in my mind are the two main indications for vena wave. Uh, DVT prevention can be in hospital after surgery, but there are other scenarios where individuals are keen to prevent DVT, such as uh, those people on long haul flights. Uh, that may also be a, a niche. Well, I think a big advantage of the VenaWave is it is a portable device and it's battery operated. So uh, individuals can carry on with their usual activities without having to sit down or be plugged into a wall or hooked up to a machine. So I think that's a huge advantage of the VenaWave. Um, and certainly it's work, it works uh, to decrease swelling and post phlebitic syndrome. Uh, it works to prevent DVT. I was trained as a hematologist 35 years ago. I differentiated entirely into the field of thrombosis. I came to McMaster in 19, end of 1969, early 70, to establish a thrombosis program. His idea of um, this wave motion was a great one um, in, for various aspects of prevention and treatment of thrombosis. With, after discussions with him, uh, he informed me that it would be possible to develop a device which was battery operated, which allowed people to wear it after they were discharged from hospital. And this was, at that time I think, and still is now, quite an innovation because one of the problems with preventing venous thrombosis is that the process of prevention 
needs to be continued well after the patient's discharged from hospital. We then follow that up with a study in the prevention of venous thrombosis in a group of patients in whom anticoagulants are potentially dangerous, yet thrombosis is a real problem. And these are patients who undergo neurosurgical procedures where even a small bleed postoperatively could be quite catastrophic. Uh, and um, it was highly successful. We got uh, about a 70% reduction, which is really very good. I think it was a little over 70% reduction in venous thrombosis using a device. The patients took the device home and, and they wore it uh, for a period of two to three weeks. Uh, so that, and that's also been published. So we said, so there seem to be two obvious indications. One, the treatment of patients with the post-thrombotic syndrome, and two, for the, used for the prevention of venous thrombosis when anticoagulants, which are the, the standard form of a treatment to prevent venous thrombosis, when anticoagulants are considered to be dangerous to use. The vena wave has the potential to help anyone whose symptoms are caused by sluggish blood flow in the veins of the leg. So these are people with, uh, who are at risk of venous thrombosis because they've had an operation, or risk of venous thrombosis because they're, they're lying in bed or paralyzed. Uh, people who have had venous thrombosis and who have raised venous pressure as a result of the venous thrombosis. Um, people who have swollen legs associated with aching and pain on standing due to defective valve function, because about 50% of such people do not have previous venous thrombosis, they just have defective valve function. The vena wave is an effective drug-free therapeutic solution. It can be used in hospital and at home. It offers greater effect than compression stockings alone, has good patient compliance unlike pneumatic compression devices, and is cost-effective. <laughs>